My name is Nikita Oliver, and I use they, them pronouns. Sarah Nelson. I was a TA, a teacher's assistant, in uh, Anthro 100 at the University of Washington when I was a graduate student. My first job in Seattle was working in the cafeteria at Seattle Pacific University. My laptop, a notebook, and a deck of tarot cards. A full glass of water, because I never end up drinking the water that I should, and uh, a book, uh, and a bag of uh, gummy Jolly Rangers. <laughs> Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> we have no plan for homelessness. We have no plan for getting people sleeping outside into stable housing. We have no accountability. We don't have policy goals and a f or a framework to get there. When we talk about more money, we have to think about what is really the partnership that we're entering into and what is, are the existing funds to deal with homelessness and, um, and how we are going to support a regional solution. Part of addressing the state of emergency around homelessness means that we need a multifaceted strategy. In the short term, providing those resources that currently mitigate the crisis right now. In the midterm, really committing ourselves to a deep collaboration with the King County Regional Homelessness Authority. In the long term, Seattle needs to be committed to building green, social, affordable housing, which is going to also require us to develop strong progressive revenue generation options to be able to meet the need of 400 to $500 million worth of affordable units every year for the next 10 years. What we need to do is actually put the environment climate protection back at the top, top of the city's agenda. So that means we have got to go beyond a Green New Deal resolution and actually figure out how we're going to meet our, our, um, the goals in Seattle's Climate Action Plan. We must make good on our commitment to address the climate catastrophe, uh, really thinking about what a Seattle Green New Deal looks like. We want to invest in infrastructure, transportation for all that is built in lockstep with our density, our affordable housing, and thinking about our urban villages. We want to build green. No. <laughs> no. I agree that, uh, that police officers often respond to situations of people in crisis that they're not trained to respond to. Those duties should be um, taken off their plate by uh, enhancing our, um, our social service agencies and making sure that the professionals are, are dealing with these situations. But I do not believe that the funding for those programs should come from the police department itself. Council's goal to just pick an arbitrary number out of thin air, 50%, and defund the police by that number without a plan for keeping people safe is, is the wrong way to go. I support defunding the police by 50% and taking those dollars and investing in community-based infrastructure. We've already invested 10 to $12 million in building out that infrastructure, civilianized 911 so we can have a variety of options when folks call so they can receive responses to their crisis that actually meet their need. So if you're in a mental health crisis, you should receive a behavioral health expert, not a police officer with a gun and a badge. I think that my opponent likes to paint me as an extremist. So rather than talking about the contrast between the two of us, I would actually like to point out that housing for all, transportation for all, progressive revenue generation, public health and safety systems that work for everyone are really not that radical. My opponent represents the status quo and I represent change. We need to stop yelling and start listening to the people that are concerned about where our city's going. We need to engage everyone in solutions. All right, I'm gonna admit it. The Grateful Dead. I love uh, Hawaiian reggae. So Island Jams is really what puts me in the mood to have a good day. I'm Sarah Nelson. I'm running for Seattle City Council position nine. Just vote, vote. My name is Nikita Oliver. I am running for Seattle City Council citywide position nine. Just vote.